everybody and welcome back to Mad Ferret Studios. This is Boudica. So here on part eight we will pick up where we left off. We uh, discovered the uh, what I call what I'm calling the vacuum incantation. We discovered that. We got the ranch the supplies for the ranch. The ranch got built. The rancher moved in. So now we will focus on other parts of Building the homestead, which in this case will be, we need to rebuild the chicken coop, so we need to go find out from Parker what exactly we need, or how much material we need compared to what I've got. And not neglect the grove at the same time. So with that, let's get into it. I'm sleepy. Good morning, Grandma. Remember the first time Arthur brought you to see me? He was so tiny, with those big green eyes. Enjoy perfecting your craft, honeybee, but mind that you don't forget about your regular life. Enjoy time with your friends. Maybe find someone special. There's magic in the little things, too. Aww. The wheat's ready. Cool. I do have another potion brewing, so it shouldn't be. Shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> oh. Oh, that's right. I still have that spell active. The vacuum spell. Oh. So Kitty gave us a bone.
Grab a few fish to sell to Bruno. Can we please get this recipe bottle? I would love to get it. Darn it! Oh, almost had it. Ah, bloody hell. <laughs> that was cool. Oh! <gasps> Got one! Oh, I was hoping for one of the bigger ones, not that dinky one. Hey, Lena. At the till again? Well, I have to be. Since my dad retired a few years ago, it's just me running this place. Parker helps when he can, but he has his workshop. Sometimes I pay Sebastian to help me restock the shelves if he wants new grip tape for his skateboard. But otherwise, it's all me.
Lena's always stressed out when the kids get out for summer break, but I like it when they hang around my shop, and Finn keeps his hands off the power tools when I tell him to. Most of the time. We'll be able to fix up this coop, no problem. But you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I've roped off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you've cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. Okay, so what do I need? Oh, I just need wood. Holy crap. Okay, well, pfft. So I uh... So I need... A lot of compost, a lot of iron... Well, not a lot, but... Okay. Festival patch is next on the list. Had any luck with building that coop? Once you do, I'll be able to sell you some chicks. Otto tells me you're also new to Fairhaven. Did the get back to the land bug bite you too? Well, not like it bit you. I mostly came to take care of my grandmother. Hazel, right? I've heard she's a real spitfire. Oh, that's right. I don't have to pick anything up because it gets sucked towards me. I do like this spell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time for a different tactic. <gasps> Quick! Darn. Oh, darn. Sorry about that, folks. My mouse fell off. All right, let's try again. I wonder 
if my vacuum power ended. Well, I guess it did. Surely not. Nope, it's still there. Okay. bit I go before I pass out. <sighs> Time for bed. What's your plan today? Going to do some farming? Maybe explore some more? I love that spell. Recipe? Ooh. 
very nice. I'll take a lobster roll. That spell is so much fun. Yes, we have a lemon tree. I am so getting that. Hey, Natalia said you fixed up that broken mine entrance. You're a real whisk taker. 
Oh, Angus. God. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. Well, hello there, Tara. I heard that you gave Damon a hand with his new happy hour promotion. <laughs> yes, um, I know I'm, I'm new here, but it's nice to help small businesses when I can. Huh. I had rather hoped your farm would be a healthier influence on the community. Oh my god. Organic produce and the like. Oh, shut the fuck up. Oh. Every time he opens his slimy mouth, I just want to slap the shit out of him. Oh, look. It's his wife. So, Otto's getting to know you game. Isn't it charming? I wish we could do something like that in Milkwater, but there's far too many people for it to be practical. That's why I love living in a small town. I'm all I could. a drink before we go to the grove. Maybe. Let's see if I can catch that shrimp looking creature. Oh yes, a bottle. Do I catch this instead? Maybe? Possibly? Ah, yes! Actually spent much time in the bar. Heard Messenger Cameron say he's having a hard time keeping up his stock of pamphlets. That must mean that his message is really getting popular in town. Oh, 
so the schoolhouse here, is that where you went to school? Sure did. That's when the other Mrs. Soft, Otto's mom, was the teacher. She was a free spirit. Liked to hold class out on the beach. It's funny Otto turned out the way he did, given his parents. We are. We have a visitor. One of my ferrets buddies here to visit. Hi. Hi, sweetness. He's come to say hi. And your sweetheart. You okay? Yeah. Come here. Okay. Come here. Come here. What's... What you doing? You go down? Okay. Okay. I gotcha. Ooh, mixology. I guess I better get to the grove. Oh great! <laughs> Let me have a whiff. Uh, yes! They all smell just right. Here, you keep them. They're super useful for someone running a farm. Brew more anytime you have the ingredients handy. Now go ahead. Let the High Priestess know you've finished your potion training. Well done, Initiate. You have mastered the art of herbology very quickly. The Acolyte tells me she couldn't have done better herself. To recognize your skills and achievement, you may cast away your Initiate designation. Yay! I really prefer to be called by my... You will be known as Novice from this point on. <laughs> right. I see. Right! Rest now, and find ways to use your new craft. There will be more work to do before long. Um, love to go check it out and see what that is. Ah, novice. It will soon be time for the turning of the seasons. Great. I love summer. Picnics, lemonade, going to the beach. But first, we must gather the ingredients for our ritual. I'm sorry, but doesn't the change from spring to summer just happen? You have much to learn. You'll find this island to be different in ways big and small. Gather the items and brew this potion. Then we can begin. Ooh. Oh, that'll come in handy. Hi, Farseer. Seen anything interesting lately? I see a witch who ought to be tending to her cauldron. Um, <laughs> okay, nice chat. I have been tending to my cauldron. Does the newest member of the coven always have to gather supplies for turning the seasons? Usually, yeah. The newbie's kind of like the intern. Except you're getting us I am Newt instead of coffee. Much more exciting. 
Oh goodness, better get back to bed. I think my vacuum spell ends tonight. Yep. Grandma, how'd you get ahead of me? Should I go to bed? Honeybee, I'm going to stay in bed today. I just don't have much energy. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, come in, Amira. What perfect timing. Sorry to come by so early. I, uh, heard you were feeling poorly, Hazel. How could you have heard that? Well, I try to make a house call at least once a month. I'm sorry I haven't been by more recently. Here's some medicine for Hazel. Thanks. It will make her more comfortable. There's not much more we can do, I'm afraid. What? You're just... giving up? <sighs> That's not fair. I've tried referring her to the best specialists and research trials, but she refused them all. Anyway, I need to get back to the clinic. Hazel, get some rest. I will. Don't worry. Tara's taking good care of me. Oh, don't be mad at Amira, honeybee. She's right. I decided to enjoy the time I had left, <laughs> rather than be strapped to a bed with tubes coming out of me. I'm grateful that I've had the strength to teach you what I can. I am not afraid of what comes next. Oh, essence of copper. I think we might actually be able to do this. We can. Oh. Definitely need that.
got the chicken coop area cleared out, so not much more that we can do here. We may as well do a bit of mining while we're waiting for Monday to roll around. Alright, there's gotta be a key around here somewhere. <laughs> Like seriously, I know this piece here, it's gotta be here somewhere. Hey, huh, this looks finally. like a key to the next level. Jeez. Finally. All right, let's go explore the last level, level 10, before we wrap this up. Ooh, looks like we have more 
We should be finding silver and gold down here, I would think. I was curious. Whack one of these. That's huge. Wow. It is very big. <laughs> All right. I think we'll call this level quits for now. Because I am out of food, I didn't make any restorative tea, so, and I have very little energy left. And then we need to go check on Grandma. Oh. Mm, Angus makes the best bread, even if he gives me a hard time for always leaving the first slice and... and Oh, it's, it's both. Messenger Cameron says that the first step in climbing the mountain of consciousness is leaving behind old beliefs that no longer serve you. Oh, I'll pet the kitty and give her a treat. Hello, Violet. Come here. Let's give her a sardine. <laughs> you liked that, didn't you, kitty? Let's go check on Grandma. Speak to people around town and get to know their problems. Sometimes there's things you can do to help. Sometimes there's things they can do to help you. All right, folks, I think we're going to cut it off for here now. So it's Sunday. We can't really do anything with the chicken coop until Monday rolls around if Parker is open, which he should be. So, so once again, thank you for joining me. For part eight, we will mosey on to part nine after this one comes out. Again, um, thank you. Please like, subscribe, share. Help us grow the channel. And I will catch you on the next adventure of Tara and her witchy ways. Bye for now.